News 5 is your local election headquarters. The runoff election is tomorrow. Not a lot of races on the ballot, but there are some very important ones, including U.S. Senate for Alabama and U.S. House for Lower Alabama. Tonight, WKRG News 5's Bill Riles takes a look at the Democratic runoff for Congress. Spanish Ford biologist Dr. Kiani Gardner and Marine Corps veteran James Averhart are both looking for the Democratic nomination. Both said the pandemic added another dynamic to the already uphill battle of Democrats running for Congress in the 1st Congressional District, a historically Republican district. Gardner, a scientist by profession, drew on digital and her strengths. We actually were set up pretty well with social media and with just digital communications, so we switched gears really quickly. Started as a YouTube series, actually. It's on Facebook as well of, we call it Quarantine with Kiani, just walking through the science of the pandemic and some of the policy issues surrounding it. On the other hand, James Averhart, a career Marine, also used digital media to get his message out, but he went even further grassroots, traveling in an RV throughout the district while maintaining social distancing. You know, I had a moving billboard. That I can go out and I can just park and I can just hold signs up, and etc. Whichever candidate wins the runoff, both expect to get help from the National Democratic Party heading into the general election. Um, those organizations, they'll stand impartial and they have to be so they can get behind whoever or whomever the candidate may be. The fact that you're seeing so much out of state money coming to the Republicans in this race is really a good indicator that. Um, there's awareness of, of, of what we're trying to do, but also how important this open seat is. A now, of course, the winner of the Democratic primary runoff will go on to meet the winner of the Republican runoff. That would be either Jerry Carl or Bill Hightower in November. Bill Riles, WKRG News 5.